Hello, my name is Nevin Allward and this is a short teaser video about my master thesis on the automatic extraction of functional requirements from patterns using NLP techniques. The overall goal of this thesis was to develop a methodology capable of taking in the information from patterns and employing natural language processing techniques to, in the end, generate textual functional requirements, so statements about functions or service that the system described in the pattern should be able to perform or offer, adhering to a specification template. Why would you want to do that? Well, Requirements engineering is an important process within the fields of software and systems engineering, since dealing with faulty requirements can very much negatively impact the development of such systems. Requirements engineering consists of multiple activities, like identifying requirements, documenting or validating and verifying them. Automating these activities can take work of engineers' shoulders, while also providing requirements of consistent form and quality. Patents are useful for this, since they may already exist before the start of development and already describe systems, meaning that they include implicit requirements. These can be made available for new development or reverse engineering projects. Automatic identification and documentation of these requirements allow for continuous or retroactive comparison and validation. There is also the possibility to further transform extracted requirements, for instance by generating models from them, such as class diagrams or component connector models. Since natural language requirements are inherently ambiguous, there are approaches to reduce this ambiguity. One of those approaches is formulating requirements using a specification template like this one for functional requirements. It defines multiple sentence elements that have to be filled in the prescribed order to construct a requirement. The shown template was also used for this thesis and consists of an optional condition, a subject matter, one of three legal keywords depending on the intended commitment, one of three functionality types that provide additional information based on the functionality that the requirement shall express, a process verb and details refining it, and an object, again with optional details refining it. Identifying these interrelated elements within the pattern text and extracting them was the main challenge of this thesis. So let's now take a look at the solution in the form of the developed methodology. Patterns actually contain an enumeration of claims that should by definition contain all functional requirements of the described system. However, since the individual claims are generally quite long and complex sentences, frequently listing independent statements, preprocessing is advised as a prerequisite for the application of NLP. The performed preprocessing first gets rid of unnecessary characters such as white spaces and new lines. The enumerations and listings constructed with columns and semicolons are broken up to form individual sentences, while the original information content is preserved. Splitting the original claim sentence into multiple smaller sentences should help the subsequent NLP to digest it. Finally, small random mistakes like repeated punctuation marks are removed from the text. Let us now further investigate how requirements are extracted from the highlighted preprocessed sentence. What we now want is to find words and phrases within the sentence that correlate to the specification template's elements and mark them as such. This would allow us to extract, then rearrange and possibly reformulate them to fit into the template. At this point, analytic NLP techniques come into play to provide the information needed for this assignment. The NLP software used for this thesis further enriches the preprocessed text with additional grammatical information for each word, producing data documents in which this information can be looked up. Words are, beside the actual text, defined by the grammatical parts of speech tags, such as base form verb, and dependency relations, such as open clause and complement. These grammatical roles, and the dependency structure in which they occur, actually form patterns that can be used to describe the words corresponding to template elements. It has shown that verbs, so the process verb element of a requirement, are the anchors within sentences to which most of the other elements relate. In this example, control is related to other relevant words either directly or with at most one word distance within the dependency tree. This means that if verbs were to be additionally tagged with references to all of the words corresponding to template elements that they relate to, all of the information of a single requirement could be extracted as a bundle. To this end, the third step of the developed methodology employs a pattern matching algorithm to find and extract the required information. At least one pattern is defined for each template element's possible relation to a verb. When a pattern matches on a given sentence, the found word corresponding to a template element is set as a custom attribute of the verb. By the fact that these custom attributes can also be part of patterns, so for example a verb can take over the associated subject of another as its own, the necessary number and complexity of the patterns can be reduced. This also means that the algorithm works iteratively, since the attributes must first be set to then be available in other patterns. In the last step, textual requirements are generated by printing the extracted information in the order prescribed by the template, once words for all non-optional template elements could be extracted. Since you need more than just a string of single words for a reasonable textual requirement, the additional words describing a template element must of course also be included. The dependency structure, as indicated by the blue arrows, helps immensely for this task. This is because all words forming an expression should already be accessible in the correct order within the dependency tree for each extracted word relating to an element. 
these now only need to be assembled into pieces of text. Filling the text pieces into the template and then finally piecing them all together yields the requirement control electronics shall, based upon an ambient temperature, a cabin temperature and a battery system temperature, control the coolant circulation system. As part of this thesis, the developed methodology was implemented as a software prototype. The requirements from five patterns were manually extracted and compared with the automatically generated ones, which showed that about 88% of requirements could correctly be extracted. Limitations and problem cases were also identified, for example regarding problematic expressions, different types of patterns and the extracted requirements quality. It was also noticed that the used specification template might not be entirely suitable for fitting requirements extracted from patterns. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out my thesis Automatic Extraction of Functional Requirements from Patterns Using NLP Techniques at the Chair of Software Engineering or send me an email if you have questions. Thank you for your interest.